All right, let's go ahead and catch up to Rigmore here. This will be episode two of our Dragon Child blind, quasi blind, or not blind at all playthrough. I explained all that in the last one. Um, we're going to go ahead and need to do this, this. Mm. For anybody who hasn't played Dragon Child or Rigmore of Cyrodiil, that's a little bit of a spoiler getting that ready, but I'm sure everybody's probably played through that. You know, they may not have played through Dragon Child if you're watching this, but the only way to get to Dragon Child is to play all of Rigmore of Cyrodiil, so I'm sure there's not going to be much, much spoilers for anybody. Don't say anything. Just go in there and cut his head off, remember? Whoever takes the head, you're supposed to take the head because you got the royal blood. No, don't leave the talking to me. Leave the talking to her. She is supposed I'll to take his head. You. Leave the talking to me. Well, I certainly won't be marrying that asshole Robert, so check that off the list. The best he can hope for is his freedom. Same with the father. We hold the upper hand of the negotiations, right? I wouldn't let Robert live. I'd go hack his head off too, scumbag. For what he did? Absolutely. He'd pay with his life. And marrying the Emperor? I don't think so. All this political bullshit, how do they even live with themselves? They will do anything, stoop to the lowest of the low, at every opportunity for power. That's, That's what really pisses me off. The power doesn't belong to them. It belongs to the citizens, the people of Tamriel. If only I could be a true voice for the people. Do you think that I have what it takes, Dragonborn, to become Empress? That's politics for you. Politics suck no matter what world you're on, right? Remember what the founders of the United States had said, you know, at its best. They didn't say at its worst, they said at its best. So government, at its best, is a necessary evil. So even when it's at its very, very, very best, that's the best that it can be is a necessary evil. So what is it when it's at its worst? So all governments are, are crap. There's never been a government implemented anywhere that's not against the people and, and creams the people. So I guess it's the same way on Nern. Every planet, I guess, has problems with their governments. But anyways... Only you can decide whatever you choose. I am here for you. With me by your side, anything is possible. Only you can decide. Whatever you choose, I am here for you. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Um, why didn't that trigger off? I did have a problem about halfway through this playthrough I would start finishing quest lines and the other one would not fire off. I'd have to go back to a previous save and I'd have to exit all the way to the main menu and then come back in and then replay that part. It basically started when um, after you rescue her and do all that stuff and then you go down to Falkreath and talk to Ingle about having Sorella come and, and all that stuff. And then you got to go through the mountains and then pop out on the other side in Cyrodiil. Well, I went through the mountains and all that kind of stuff. And then I popped out on the other side and it finished the last that, that quest line. But the other one wouldn't fire off. So I had to exit all the way to the main menu and then come back in and um, do it again. And then the next one would, would fire off. I'm And it, it started then, and it's happened about five times now, where a quest would not fire off. I think what it has to do with is the Fusro Bork. Because it, it's... Until your character actually says the dialogue line, you can see there's a quite a big delay. Because the, um, the XVA synth has to synthesize up that line with with that dialogue so it's creating a big delay now any t now it stores all those lines and now when i if i come back and do it again the line will be there it'll say it right away so i think that's why i'm having to quit out is because because the dialogue is delaying it's it's not letting that next um quest trigger 
and then when I come back in and redo it again it's already generated those lines so it gets through the lines at the normal pace and then the next quest starts off I think that's what's happening if I had to guess I'll represent you I'm not Please sure but to me. yeah I've had that well, problem I certainly won't be marrying that asshole Robert so check that off the list the best he can hope for we hold the upper hand of the negotiation absolutely right? But see how he's saying his lines right away now? Once your character says a line, no matter what it's from, it's stored in XVA synth. So now, if they say it again, it's, it's right away. But if it's saying the, the line for the first time, it's got to generate that line. That's why the screen starts getting all jerky, because it takes about 90% of my CPU to generate that up in-game. So... If only I could... Do you think that I have what it takes, Dragonborn? Only you can decide. Whatever you choose, I am here for you. But what about you? What will you do? No matter what happens next. Now, now, it's, start, now it's gonna take forever here. But yeah, now it, it continued on. But see how there's a gap here? While XVA says, Wherever you go, I will follow. No matter what happens I next. I belong to you and you alone. Do you believe in the prophecy thing? I hope it's true and there is a child, our child. She will want for nothing to hell with the prophecy. We made our choice and only time will tell. I always go against the prophecy because it was you were so, so tongue twister, so shoehorned into doing it in the normal Rigmore, but with the reboot and you don't have to go that path it feels like it's more your choice now so now i'm not too opposed to the if you want to go with the prophecy go for it so but before you're so shoehorned how you, you your character pretty much gets raped for their their essence or their dna i guess I to hope it's impregnate true. Rigmore. there is a child oh, a child she will want for nothing but now it's it's all your choice rising star Enter the Imperial Palace. Okay. You ready, Rigmore? Why'd you take my helmet? Oh, because that one mod takes it off inside. I can't move! I got super glue on my feet. Why are you standing there? Kill them! Blackwell, order your men to kill these traitors! Hold your swords. I am your emperor! You! I demand you kill them. You! You! You must obey me! You will cut them down this instant! You! Pick up your sword and, and cut them down! Cut them down, I say! Then, then, I... I am undone. Yep. Pretty much. It, it, it wasn't me. I, I am innocent. It was her, Warlag. She murdered the children, not me. You... You can keep the crown. Here, here. Take it. Take it. Please. Quarter. Quarter. No quarter. No quarter. Rigmore, that's nasty. Cut them down, I say! I think I got that just when his head came off. <laughs> Dude, you're twitching. Rigmore, you were supposed to do it. 
you were supposed to take his head. What the hell is this Blackwell? Majesty, whomsoever takes off the head that wears the crown reigns supreme. You are Lord Protector of Cyrodiil and the Empire. Take your rightful place upon the throne of Dragonborn Kings. I think you set this up, Blackwell. Come on, Rigmore, get your butt up here. I'm not doing this alone. You're joining me. My lady, after you. Your Majesty, as Lord Chancellor, it is my duty to protect and serve, and pursue your interests with absolute unwavering ruthlessness. If you would kindly permit me to, and I am sure you'll agree, tie up a few loose ends. We have to nip it in the bud, so to speak, all of them. My lady, you look quite peaked. Are you unwell? She's prego. I... I am with child. Dragon Child DLC. This is when it starts. I'm anxious to see if this has changed up with the reboot. Where are you going? Are you sure? Are you sure? Dragon, of course I'm sure. This is the best thing ever to happen in my life. What? The baby? Or is he becoming emperor? Ah, <laughs> uh, emperor's more important. <laughs> what are you going to do? I am going to rule with an iron fist and put things right. I am going to... Go with the flow. <laughs> Go with the flow. That doesn't sound like a um, Skyrim and Tamriel and everything saying, but they broke that fourth wall a couple times, which I, I love in, in mods and stuff when they start breaking that fourth wall. We've come this far, haven't we? Like Sorella, <laughs> she does, a, and even Rigmore a little bit, but especially Sorella has little sayings that are definitely breaking that fourth wall um i'm going to go with the flow we've come this far it doesn't add up something's not right it doesn't add up or i, I don't know i wouldn't trust blackwall he's supposed to protect the throne and all that no matter what no and i know he set right. this up so that the up. old emperor would get killed by well, me i don't want to have the baby here i want to go home Raimo, it should have been you become the Empress. Uh-uh. 
You're the last Dragonborn, the rightful heir to the throne. Blackwell said it himself. I need you now more than ever. Please, don't leave me here alone. I'll never leave you alone, not now, not ever. I am go I am not going anywhere. We will find a way. Let's take this one step at a time. Raymo, I would never leave you alone. Please not now, me home, not Dragon ever. Born. Let's have Blackwell look after things here. If he needs us, he can send for us. That is such a cool looking throne, but you know how uncomfortable that would be? <laughs> here he comes right now. Here he is. Ask him. Ask him about what happens next. I guess we're supposed to wait for him to come up here. Am I supposed to be sitting? A new beginning. Talk to Blackwall. Oh, Blackwell, what happens next? Well... There will be a small interim phase, so correspondence can be sent to those that need to be informed, such as dignitaries and the royal houses of Tamriel. They shall be invited to the coronation, which in this case I suggest be arranged at the same time, as Rigmore is now the High Queen of Cyrodiil. But first, we need to protect the integrity of our queen and the child. So, first I suggest Rigmore takes up the name of the House of Mead. Rigmore Mead? <laughs> yeah, right. It might only be a temporary change, but also a necessary one. Majesty, depending on how we go forward from here, I have another suggestion. Go on Blackwell. I suggest you arrange a marriage at the soonest opportunity. You, as the last Dragonborn, are the rightful heir to the throne. As soon as I heard of your accomplishments, I knew it was fact. That not only were you gifted the Thum, but also with the ability to absorb the souls of dragons. That you were anointed by Akatosh himself as the rightful heir, before even taking the crown. If you find that arrangement to be impossible for whatever reason, there are alternative ways to proceed. What other arrangements? A partnership or friendship ceremony for the child's sake. It would not be binding and you could both live separate lives. Where there is an understanding between you and shared responsibilities, especially if you decide to seed. Or you could seed the crown. Rigmore becomes empress and you go back to what you were doing before. Well, we did the romance arc, so <laughs> yeah, I will do this option. I will ask for Rigmore's hand in marriage in Understood. good time when I am ready. My lady. The Dragonborn and I shall return to Bruma for the time being, and leave you in charge as caretaker. Maybe... Maybe Titus Mead II will return someday. We will, of course, comply with anything you ask of us. Of course, my lady. As the former Countess of Bruma, administration will pass to Sigun. Bruma will, by default, become a royal city and imperial place of residence. There is a small matter that needs to be attended to, but that can wait for the time being. I'm sure both of you need time to adjust to the new situation you find yourselves in. The traitors Leowin, Chaden Hall, and Coral have all been dealt with permanently, and the houses of Coral and Chaden Hall, for the time being, have passed on to their next of kin. Leowin? Leowin is in need of a new count. I suggest Cassius Varon. It is imperative we have someone we can trust, implicitly. 
His naval expertise would suit the county and protect the Nibbin Bay, especially as the disbanded bandit army has gone to ground in the border regions of Black Marsh, elsewhere in Valenwood. Of course, Quintus was another option to consider, but with growing tensions in Hammerfell, it would be prudent to have him remain there for the time being. Agreed, but I will be making the decisions around here from now on. Agreed, Leowin is key to protect the Citadel, especially if the Akaviri launch an attack. I shall agree. It at once. Leowin is key to protect the Citadel, the especially if the Akaviri launch an attack. Dynasty and forthcoming coronation to be sent to whom it may concern. So expect immediate interest and requests for parley, especially from the Elder Council in exile and the Old Mary Dominion, who I suspect will want to discuss the restoration of the White Gold Concordant. Yeah, right. Lady Rigmore, take this opportunity to relax as best you can. Of course, return home to Bruma, but soon, whether you like it or not, you will need to adapt and come to terms with your new situation. Once the news has reached the far corners of Tamp, Nern, and you address the foreign dignitaries and your subjects, you must respect their expectations and act accordingly, befitting a queen. Hey, I'm not the Emperor, and I put up with this kind of stuff from Malsam long enough, so drop it, Blackwell. But you are still the queen. Rightfully so, as the Dragonborn is the rightful heir to the Imperial throne by right of combat. I realize this situation is not perfect, or even expected. I am sure it comes as a surprise to all of us, but here we are. It's not the first time in the history of monarchies that things have turned out... exceptional. But we must all agree that the recent events that have brought us here are indeed exceptional. Ah, <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm just worried, I guess. I, I don't know. Rigmore, I have been on the receiving end of your <laughs> <laughs> diplomatic parlay. Her Proof temper? Beyond doubt, your ability to lead, to strategize, to stand up, shoulders back, head held high in the face of overwhelming odds. And with the dragonborn by your side? If it's peace you want, if it's a home to go where you can raise a child in safety, you have a place alongside the dragonborn to make this real. To make it a success, because no one is going to make that success for you. So please, do take the time to return to Bruma, appoint a lady-in-waiting, and send her here to the palace as to arrange the royal suite. I take it you have dealt with... Sir Robert? No. <laughs> At least I don't think we have. I haven't. Maybe somebody else there is... He's still in jail. Not yet. Then I leave his fate up to you. If you will permit me, I have matters to attend to. I shall send word if something important comes up and your presence is required. My lord. My lady. Dragonborn. What is it? How do you feel about all this? Time to party! <laughs> I do feel a little unsure. I can't quite put my finger on it. Rigmer, look at us. We're on the top of the world. Best be skeptical. Keep you alive. I do feel a little unsure. I can't quite put my you finger on it. Unsure? I am a victim of all this, just like you. I understand. I really do. I know. We've been through a lot, haven't we? We share a destiny. I know that. We have both suffered from amnesia. I don't know what I would have done if you hadn't been there for me. Been there for all of us. I know I'm not perfect, but you've always been there to carry me when I fall, to put me back together when I'm broken. 
I would do the same for you in a heartbeat. I'll always have your back. And I want you to know you are kind and stronger than you know. You're my Dragonborn. And I'll protect you always. <laughs> I think I got this, but thanks anyways. That's kind of whatever. I love you. I love you too. What now? Can you take me home now? This is your home now. You know what I mean. Come on then, follow me. <sighs> okay. Take Rigmore back to Bruma Keep. You have not prayed in a while. Well, let's do something about that. It's 200%. Make save. Why don't you guys clean up that dead body there? One of you two slackers. I, just, I love this armor too, for the Khajiit. It is such a cool looking armor. Um, I don't think there's any um, travel posts in here and I, I don't have fast travel because of that mod. I may have to... Where is Bruma from here? It should be that way. Yep, right up there. So, there's not going to be any of those travel things. Um, what the heck are they called? Travel supplies, just one. Looks like we got some leveling up to do. Okay, good, it worked. Did it get rid of it out of my inventory? Yes, it did. Um. Okay, looks good. Make it quick. <laughs> Dude, I'm the emperor and you're gonna give me attitude like that? Hey, why don't you guys clean up these shields? That fight was a long time ago. more what is it what are we going to tell my mom that you're knocked uh, up I mean we can't just go back there and say hey mom guess what I'm yeah. pregnant with the dragonborn's baby yeah you can you're the high queen you can do it uh, I'm just worried, I guess. <laughs> it's early days yet. No one needs to know just yet. Not even your mom, but I'll let you decide. But we don't have much it's time early days before yet. it's not showing. No one needs to but know then. just yet. Not even your mom, but I'll let you decide. That is so jarring because it takes so long for it to generate those long sentences that they'll actually start speaking the next line before your character says it. This one shouldn't do it. It's short enough. It'll generate fast. We'll get married as soon as possible. Dragonborn, are, are you proposing to me? Let me speak to your mom first. I want this to be perfect. Okay, 
Let's go then. Um, shouldn't that give me a quest? Maybe not. How's the knee? General. It's Emperor now, not General. Rigmore! Mom! Ah, Ingol informed us of Leowin's defeat. There seems to be some confusion regarding the outcome of the, uh, ah, uh, yes, the war. We went to parlay at the Emperor's request. He, the Emperor, attacked Dragonborn. By the gods, what happened? I think it's plainly obvious. I take it things didn't end well for him. Dragonborn is now the Emperor of Cyrodiil and the Empire. <gasps> My word. Your most imperial royal majesty. Don't kiss ass. There will be a coronation after the interim phase, so Blackwell can make the necessary arrangements for the coronation. Come on, let's all sit down. Forgive me, your... Uh, your majesty, as this has come as a bit of a shock. <laughs> you got that right. Indeed, but what about you, my lady? I am the new High Queen of Cyrodiil. Seems there was something in that prophecy after all, Friathoth. Bruma is to become a royal city, so nothing would need change here, apart from my name. Change your name, child? What do you mean? Blackwell wants me to change my name to Rigmore Mead before the coronation. Might I make one small suggestion? As you know, Carice and myself have always worked tirelessly to protect and serve the descendants of Morgan of Winterhold. Your point? Morgan, as you know, was the first child of Titus Mead I. You could respect her memory of that by assuming the name of Rigmore Morgan Mead. It has a nice ring to it, don't you think? Don't you think? Hmm? Mm -hmm. Hmm. Shut up, Malisom. You know, I really like that. But what I don't understand is... How is all of this going to work out? If Rigmore is the High Queen of Cyrodiil... Then Your Majesty must not only be the Emperor... But also the High King. What of the prophecy, my child? Are you...? Mom, we need to talk. <laughs> Freyathoff, thank what you. Is, is there something wrong? In private. Forcing uh, her to fess up. Majesty. And what about Morag? Morag's long dead. What do you think happened there? We defeated Morag Sethias at Table Mountain and with the help of the Thalmor. The destruction of the Soul Gem caused word. a rift, and Morag Bal entered into Nagyasa. I summoned Bothia with the eye, right. and we fought Born and thwarted Molag and his Versus minions Molag, together. Baal and his minions. Who would ever conceive of such an epic event? What then, Majesty? I take it you went straight after Leowen?
It wasn't as easy as that, but yes, pretty much. But you mentioned the Falmor. Ah. Apparently, they were him. sent by the Elder Council well, and other dignitaries, to led by a Count Camus. But the family is well known. Lelandril, I think. Yes, that's where his family hail from. Very well respected. What about the Red Diamond? Did you pick it up? Red Diamond? Yeah, what Red Diamond? What Red Diamond? Jonte was telling us about... Oh. Ah, yes. Apparently the destruction of the Bridge of Size would ultimately cause it to collapse in upon itself. Uh, didn't Sefri tell you that would occur if the Soul Gem reached its zenith? He only mentioned it could cause a rift. He if never the Soul mentioned Gem about were that diamond. If about to reach its zenith, destroying itself, it would indeed have caused a rift. But also, it would have left behind a Black Diamond. If it had, an amulet of kings made of it would have been able to reverse the sacrifice of Martin Septim, not only allowing Daedra to pass into the mortal world along with Cold Harbor, but also to banish the gods. Thankfully you destroyed it in time, but instead of leaving a Black Diamond, it would have left a Red Diamond in its place. So that's what Morag was hinting about, what would happen now, if, if it did leave a red diamond, what then? So that's what Morag was hinting about, what would happen Madame now, Madame Hewlett of Kings, made with a red diamond? We're not entirely sure. Only the Chosen One could wear it. Whether the diamond was black or red makes no difference. But we can assume it could be used to relight the dragon fires. And it could result in many outcomes. Such as? Banish both the Divines and Daedra for meddling in the affairs of mortals completely. Possibly it could equalize the influence of them, but at a reduced amount, strengthening the sacrifice of Martin Septim. It would, of course, be useless without the fulfillment of the prophecy. And we talked about that before, Majesty. Raymo is with child. By the God! Majesty! Well, that's all rather inconvenient. Uh, what happens next? Ah. Uh, inconvenient? We had planned to get married and have a family. Hey, where, Carice? Where are you going? <laughs> Is what we both wanted. I have to do what's right for the child. Malasom, I haven't liked you since Rigmore of Bruma. You are a... I would have taken your head long ago, dude. Inconvenient. Mm. We had planned to get married and have a family. It's what we both wanted. I am going to ask Sigan for her blessing to marry Raymore. Of course. That would put everything in order and make things right. No one needs know Lady Rigmore is pregnant before the wedding. We keep this to ourselves. Majesty, does Lady Rigmore know what fate awaits her?
Yes, Frethel, she knows, but I don't want to talk about this right now. Dragonborn, I... I'm going to the cathedral to gather my thoughts for a little while. Maybe... I don't know. Find some solace. When you're done here, would you come get me? Of course, I won't be long. <sighs> okay. Poor girl. So, Master Freofoff, what fate awaits her? Please do share. Majesty. Oops. Ah. No mortal woman has ever given birth to well, a no dragon child the and lived. needs to find solace. But I have the Earl of the Gods, and they have assured us not to worry. Hmm. What? How? No. Yeah, some other time. This is getting to be a long episode here. It's a <laughs> long story, Frethoff. Maybe some other time. Uh, of course. Forgive me. It must be a trying time for both of you. Majesty, let us hope the gods keep their word. For all our sakes. And in the meantime, I'll send that ruffian, that scoundrel, that corrupt scallion Jimmy Tenfingers to search Nagasel for the diamond. It should still be there unless... Unless what? Unless, of course, someone else knew in advance what would occur. But for the present, perhaps it would be best to speak to Sigrun to alleviate any concerns about the future she might have. That's what I intended to do right now. Majesty? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and cut this episode off. It's getting pretty long here, but I didn't want to stop it in the middle of a dialogue session there. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this, and I hope to see you on the next episode. Well guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please smash that like button and also consider hitting that subscribe button. Again, thanks for watching and I hope to see you in future episodes.